this video, we are going to learn about angles that are outside a circle. We're going to look at three cases, and it will turn out that the way you figure out the angles in each case is actually the same, which is really nice. So the first case is going to be if we have two tangent lines that intersect outside the circle. So each of those lines are tangent because they intersect the circle in just one point. So this is the two tangents example. The next situation that we will consider is if one line is a tangent line and it intersects the circle once, but the other line is a secant line and intersects the circle twice. So this is the tangent secant example. And lastly, we will look at what if both lines are secant lines and they intersect outside the circle. So each line intersects the circle twice and we have an angle down here. So that's the two secant example. Now in each of these cases, there is a relationship between the large arc, so there's a big arc in each case, and the small arc that is created, and the angle that's actually on the outside. So there's a relationship between those three measurements. And this is what the relationship is. If we call the bigger arc B in each case, and the smaller arc A in each case, then the relationship is the bigger arc minus the smaller arc divided by two will always equal the angle. And this works in all three cases, that the big arc minus the smaller arc divided by two will give you the measure of the angle. So for example, if you had the bigger arc was 90 degrees and the smaller arc was 20 degrees and you wanted to figure out the measure of this angle down here, what you would do is 90 minus 20 divided by 2. And 90 minus 20 is 70 and 70 divided by 2 is 35. So that means this angle would be 35 degrees. So for all three cases, it would be the same thing, that the bigger arc minus the smaller arc divided by two will give you the measure of the angle. Now, of course, you could always work backwards to figure out the measure of any arc if you're given one arc and the angle as well. But this relationship would still be the same. Now, in the case of the two tangents, there's also an additional relationship that's important to know. So if we look down here, and again, draw in two tangent lines. In this case, there will be a relationship between the angle and the smaller arc, which is that the angle plus the smaller arc will equal 180 degrees. So for example, if the measure of this smaller arc right here was 170 degrees, that would mean that this angle has to be 10 degrees. Additionally, because two lines are each tangent, it means that the bigger arc and the smaller arc together make the whole circle, so they have to add up to 360 degrees. So if we know that that smaller arc was 170, it would mean that the larger arc must be 190 in order to make 360 altogether. So that's an additional thing that will work for the two tangent example. Notice that in this example, what we talked about before is still the case. The bigger arc minus the smaller arc divided by two equals the angle. So if we just test that, 190, the bigger arc, minus 170, the smaller arc, divided by two. Well, 190 minus 170 is 20, and 20 divided by two is 10. And 10 was the measure of the angle, so it works here as well.